Most of today's trending news involves food, so don't get angry when I start talking about it. It just is what it is. McDonald's CEO Steve Easterbrook has stepped down from his role after admitting to a consensual relationship with an employee. This is a violation of their company policy. That's why he had to go. All right, this next piece of trending news, I actually couldn't get over that this is really what happens in the world. Krispy Kreme has ordered a college student to stop reselling its donuts. Jason Gonzalez would drive up to 270 miles round trip to Iowa every weekend to pick up 100 boxes of Krispy Kreme. He'd then sell those to customers in the Twin Cities area. He would charge $17 to $20 per box. He said some of his customers even spent nearly 100 bucks at a time. The local paper wrote a story about it and soon after he got a call from Krispy Kreme's Nebraska office telling him to Shut it down. Krispy Kreme has actually been out of Minnesota for the last 11 years, and so far so good, he's listened and not resold any donuts. <laughs> And this is the true trending item of today. Papa's chicken sandwich is back, everyone. It made a return yesterday after a two month hiatus. Remember the lines and the chaos that turned into a nationwide shortage? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. God is good. People are losing their minds over it again. It's just not gonna go away. But good news, it seems that there will be no shortage anytime soon, so just wait in line for an hour for a damn sandwich. And finally, hockey fans wish an 11-year-old a happy birthday after no one came to his party. Cade is a Toronto Leafs fan. His dad tweeted the sad scene asking for people to wish the kid a happy birthday online. The team, a few of the players, and apparently even actor Mark Hamill wished the boy a happy birthday on Twitter. And if you've been keeping up, 5 to know is 4 to know today because that's just what happens every once in a while. I'm Nakarona. I'll see you tomorrow.